distinguished guests, dear colleagues and friends, thank you for the opportunity to address this very important meeting on this very important topic. There is no greater tragedy than a life lost needlessly. Every two minutes, a woman loses her life to cervical cancer. This does represent our collective failure to protect women from a preventable disease. Two years ago, WHO launched an initiative to eliminate cervical cancer. Since then, we have worked with our partners to develop a unified strategy to achieve that goal. Our aim is to drive cervical cancer below four per 100,000 women in every country within a century, preventing over 70 million deaths. The idea of eliminating any cancer was once considered a pipe dream. We now have the evidence and the tools that show it can be done. Vaccination, screening, treatment, palliative care. We cannot cherry pick. We must pursue them all. These tools have enabled some rich countries to drive cervical cancer to low levels. If we can do this in any country, we must be able to do it in all countries. It is simply unjust to not make the same services accessible to all girls and women regardless of where they live or who they are. Our challenge is not primarily one of technology, it's one of equity. That's why the 90, 70, 90 targets are so important. In low and lower middle income countries alone, 250,000 deaths can be prevented by 2030 if the 90, 70, 90 strategy is implemented. We ask you, the research community, to please join us as advocates for the cause. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted many essential health services and is likewise a risk to services for cervical cancer. It's vital that countries ensure routine services such as vaccination and cancer screening continue with the appropriate safety precautions. WHO has developed guidelines for countries on how to ensure continuity of essential services during the pandemic. Dear friends, each case of cervical cancer not only affects the women who are inflicted by the disease, but also their families and communities who lose them. We have a unique opportunity to end the suffering of women from this painful, onerous, and stigmatizing disease. We know how to stop this disease. Together, we must make sure all girls and women benefit from the tools and the knowledge to make cervical cancer history. I thank you.